Hello. I'm the organizer. <laughs> <laughs> the You're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to the D-Vlog Experience. Move. Betty, move. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you later, puppy. Bye. Sarnara. Love ya. We are leaving on our way to go pick up a vehicle. Menace car was in the shop. Have to get it fixed. And so now we got to go pick it up. It's a Friday. Man is off work, so we got a lot of cleaning done today. And now we're just going to hang out a little bit. She's filming me as I film. Thanks for watching. You chose. You made a thing home. You made a great decision for watching uh, today. Forgot to mention this earlier. Uh, today is day five. It's Friday, and I started Monday of my no meat for a week challenge, and it's going pretty good. I think I've done well. Yesterday I had the opportunity to eat meat, and I didn't. So. Also, I think a couple days ago, I mentioned in a vlog that I was going to a friend's house and if they had meat and their spaghetti, that I'd eat it. They didn't. They didn't even do that. They just made a spaghetti with no meat, just tomato sauce, so that was good. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely not been easy. I've ate french fries from fast food two or three times, twice, I think, from Bojangles and McDonald's. Yesterday, I had Bojangles french fries. Not a good idea. I think my body already, because it is kind of a detox, I think my body already is like kicking stuff out. Um, my stomach kind of feels twisty and turny, um, like it's a detox phase, right? Like getting all the bad stuff out, it is not a pleasant experience, but um, I, I feel okay, I feel energized, I feel fine. I haven't even ate, have I ate this morning? No, we haven't. We haven't even ate today, but I feel okay. Um, we're going to one of my favorite restaurants. You guys have seen it before. The old hardware store. I've been there with uh, Ryan Woodsell. Bang bang in his honor. So we're going to go there after we get in the car. But um, I'm doing okay with the no meat for a week thing. Last, very, very proud. Man is proud of me, so that that's good. And my little brother asked me yesterday, like, was I, like, ready for it to be over so I can eat meat? And really, I'm not. Like, I don't really care that much, like... I'm not like craving bad foods. I haven't had anything put in front of me where I'm like, man, I want that. My little brother ate chicken in front of me, which I eat all the time, and I didn't, I didn't care that much about it. So this is a good thing for me, I think. I think so too. And then like, if you go out to eat and you're like craving a steak, I can get one. Just get a small one. Don't get a huge one. Just get a 16 ounce all, instead of like anyway. an eight ounce. I mean, instead of a 20 ounce, right? Sure. You don't eat it all anyway. He literally takes three bites and he's done. Yeah, I haven't been eating a lot anyway, so um, I think it's going well. So you should do it. I mean, just I'm not trying to prove a point. I'm not trying to lose weight. Like I said, I'm not trying to do any. I just wanted to see what it would be like, and so it's fun. <laughs> it's not it's that bad. It's good to challenge yourself. It is. It's good to try to challenge yourself and try different disciplines. I think. Yeah. So, anyways, we're on our way to Royston. We'll see you guys there. See, this to us is like boring, but this like landscape to some people that aren't from here. Yeah. They like, you know, it looks pretty. I need to do more because these past few vlogs have been like eight minutes long. I'm really okay. So, Amanda, first come coming to the uh, old hardware store. What are your first impressions? What do you give it out of ten for lunch? Old corner hardware store. Is that what I said? No. He said old hardware store. Old corner hardware store in Royston, Georgia. What I, do you give it out of 10 for lunch? For lunch, I would give it an 8 out of 10. That's pretty good. Maybe a 7. Just because of the variety. Not enough? It's not enough. It's like literally just sandwiches and chips. And there was a soup, but it was chicken and mushroom. But you know what? I appreciate restaurants like that because you get you know what you're going for. You like for. simple. Right. Sometimes there's too many options. But there wasn't really many vegetarian, vegan options. Like, they should add 
pita chips, which they do have pita chips, which is great. Hummus or something. But they need to add like hummus or something. I just I like, like restaurants. Salsa or something. I, know, I like restaurants that do one or two things and they do those really really well. You know what I mean? Yeah, their grilled che cheese was really really good. There's a lot of great food in Royston. There is a lot of good food. That is one thing that is for sure. So we are home. Owen just woke up and I think we're going to try to do some cleaning. It's hard to be productive when you have to take care of him too. We're going to try to get him to play by himself and while he plays we will clean. Continue to clean and organize. Current scenario, I am at a wedding rehearsal not involved in this wedding. I'm gonna get some, he asked me to video, so I'm gonna do some of that. So you'll get to see some of those shots, but um, the food tonight is worth me coming. It's gonna be incredible. One of my best friends is getting married tomorrow, so Owen is home with his grandmother at our house. She's babysitting him for us. So we're gonna hang out and get this thing done. It's gonna be awesome. I'll show you guys what it's like. This, his, this house, y'all, it's beautiful. You just don't even know, you have no idea. Yeah, that was the basement. This is a three-story house. It's incredible. Probably one of my favorite houses ever. So I walked down to the wedding rehearsal. It's happening without me, which is expected because it doesn't have anything to do with me. So the lighting tonight, the lighting is awesome. Are you vlogging us, Derek? No, this is for what? For Patrick. Oh, cool. He's on for it. It's a rehearsal. What? Hey, what? Nailed it. Nailed it. Wow. Wow. Really, bird? I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Edit that. Edit that. Edit that, dude. This is pregame. Ben, keep us in line now. Oh, we will. You got to get the organizer in on your vlog. Yep. You want to be in the video? Hello. I'm the organizer. <laughs> <laughs> or the planning. You're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're, we're. Get married tomorrow. So are we all ready to go and go over? Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Let's do it. That's the nicest house I've been in. Is this one, this is going to have to do it. It's about the same size as that, but the way they, well, yeah, it's probably bigger, but the way they built this house on the inside, yeah. ain't nothing but wood. It's so much fancier. This is our rich house, man. The freaking, look. It looks like a Crackle Barrel. The kitchen probably costs, <laughs> the kitchen probably costs more than what I'll build a floor when I buy a house. <laughs> really? Yes. The kitchen there? Oh, it's like a dang castle door. <laughs> Good, brother. How are you? Get inside. I can hear you from up at the thing. Well, thank you, sir. We didn't run too many of them off. Come on in. Samuel. Are you recording this? Yes, sir. Oh, my gosh. Right. Oh, get your stuff. I'm sorry. That's the wood I was talking about. Oh, my God. 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 Yeah, they're only out like. Hey. Hey. 
I could, yeah, man. All, we could all just hey, live man, here. We could just all live here together, bro. That's where the Bulldogs players stay. That's crazy. Yeah. I ate meat. I did. A good bit, too. It was really good. But it's a celebration. So, but you know what? I made it from Monday until today. Thanks, Amanda. This is weird. Thanks for making it weird. I've had five days with no meat. I plan to continue going until Sunday, Monday, um, even though I've already ate meat. But today was a special occasion. It was Patrick's wedding, and they had a feast. I had chicken strips, shrimp, uh, crab meat inside of a mushroom, buffalo chicken dip. But I did have strawberries and grapes and <laughs> some fruit and stuff. And tomorrow they're having pizzas, and Amanda and I are already decided we're getting a vegan pizza tomorrow. So... Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the vlogs this month. I'm sorry that they're out not on the day that they should be out, but I promise you by the end of the month, uh, or maybe a few days after the end of the month, there will be 31 videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't, like I said, make sure you subscribe. Um, I'm wanting, I would love to have 50 subscribers by the end of Vlogtober. That's my goal. Have a great night. Peace and apple crisp.